What are you doing? You're ironing Dad's clothes? She wouldn't do it. You do know who it is, then? I know enough. He said it's over between them. You believe him? I do, yeah. And you must. Or I wouldn't be ironing his clothes. <sighs> Stuff's everywhere. I can't breathe. Anybody at home? Should keep you going for a few weeks. Swap. Ta. Key. Frank. Key. You want to come here, you clear it with me first. I don't like you dropping in. It's bad for my nerves. Have a good day at work, Jamie. Frank, are you sure you're going to be all right? Well, I'm going. Have a good day. on because it wasn't your idea. What? My boy can think for himself, you know. I'm no great fan of Leanne, but... Come in. Make yourself at home, I don't... But Jamie is. And if she's the girl he wants to settle down with, then who are we to stand in his way? I ain't standing in his way. You spat your dummy out. Who says? You ain't right for Jamie. You said so yourself. Oh, maybe. If he but... someone, he'll make him happy. Oh, so what? He can always divorce her when he comes to his senses, oh, can't he? You don't miss a chance, dear. I mean it. It's no big deal. The breakdown of a marriage? Because it's a big deal. He's been playing away again. Danny, if they can do it with you, they can do it to you. I warned you. Yeah, I got what I deserved, I know. So let me get this straight. What's upsetting you is Danny. You're a grown woman, Frankie. I'm sorry you've got troubles, but come on, put a show on. You do it for your own boy. Oh, don't start all that again. My Jamie's second best. Second best? He should be so lucky. When it comes to priorities in this house, he's two down from the cat. In your heart. It would break my heart, seeing him with that little tart nose. Knowing what? If you're angry with Danny, take it out on Danny. Leave Jamie and Leanne out of it. What do you think I've been trying to do? You made them call off their engagement. Who does that help, eh? Nobody but yourself. Oh, look at you. All those years on your high horse, slating me and Danny because we used our kid as ammunition. It's not the same. He's a sensitive boy, Frankie. He likes to keep people happy. I swear, Carol, I'm doing this for him. He doesn't know the ins and outs, and I need to keep it that way. Oh, there are no ins and outs. You're a control freak. And Danny's wised up to it, so now you've got to pick on someone else. Do you know what? You're going to lose him. Him and Leanne. And where will that leave you, eh? It's cold out there, believe me. This is different. An affair's an affair, unless... He loves her. Are you sure? She meant nothing. Oh, who is she anyway? You're too old for babysitters. And he's never shown much imagination. So let me guess. Some little slapper from the factory. Younger. <laughs> yeah, he likes them younger, you must remember. You probably thought she was a dozy cow. But you should have given her more credit. Because there she was, in your bed, with your husband, right under your nose. I'm not the one to blame. And you took your eye off the ball. And he betrayed us. In the worst possible way. He couldn't have hurt us more if he tried. Oh, and you never want anyone to get hurt. Not Jamie. Because if he knew, well, that'd be the end of him and Danny. She never wants to make anybody choose. But Danny hasn't left you any choices, has he? So now you've got to say it. Your dad's a bastard. No, I... I just can't. You can't what? Can't bear to see anybody else happy? I can't let him marry Leanne. Why not? <laughs> because that's who it was. It was her. It was Leanne. Who <laughs> Danny was seeing. His own son's girlfriend. Carol, no. Carol, she's young dream. Mum, what are you doing here? 
Didn't Leanne mention I'd been to see her? I said you'd be busy. Come on, Carol, let's go. <laughs> What's this? I'm trying to run a business here. Jamie, listen, I need a sample. Running over to Shelton's a bit double quick. Do that for me, son. Good lad. You still here, Carol? I'm impressed. That's quite a hotline you two have got. Where were you? Did you drop everything and drive over? Shut her out, Frankie. I ain't shut the door behind you. There's a good girl. Do they ring each other a lot? No. Well, listen, it shouldn't take you more than half an hour, son, but if you want to hang around, there's a cracking little boozer next door. I might even mug you to a plough person's lunch, eh? I met a bird who said that to me once. It's unbelievable, isn't it, eh? Don't you think it's time you stop palming him off like a child? All of you? It's called love, Carol. Is that what you call it, Leanne? Jamie knows how I feel about him. Does he know how you feel about his dad? <laughs> she been on the bottle or something? Carol, come on, then. sober as a judge, me. <laughs> That'll be the day. Get her out of here and get some coffee down her a bit sharpish. Not you, Jay, not... Carol! Did you never suspect? The in-jokes, the excuses... Why didn't you learn? You saw what happened to me. Mum. Ask your father. I ain't playing games with you, Carol. Pack it in! What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. It's all in the past, son. You don't need to know. Dad. You know if you don't tell him, I will. Shut up, Carol! Tell me what! You just get out! Get out! Tell him! Tell me! <laughs> it was Leanne. <laughs> the person I've been seeing is Leanne. Jamie, you've got to listen to me. <laughs> it was you. Look, it was the biggest mistake of my life, son, but it's over. I promise it's over. Your son's girl. You bought your son's girl. You're a sad, greedy old pervert. Yeah, well, maybe I am. Maybe I was just off me head, eh? My old man had died, my business weren't doing much. Oh, my heart would break for you if it was the first time. But you're like a tomcat, Danny. You stray. <laughs> you're loving it, ain't you? How can you say that? Because it's been a long time coming, Carol. And I wish it had never come. Right. He deserved to know the truth. Even if it destroyed him? Well, whose fault is that? It's not mine, it's his. He betrayed his son. Again. I told you to leave things alone. Jamie didn't deserve that. He needed to know the sort of person he was marrying. I would never let Jamie marry Leanne. It ain't about Leanne! You as well! It's all about me! Isn't everything? Frank! Boy, this has got to be your finest hour. Oh, Lee, tell me where you're going! Jamie! <laughs> Do you want to live dangerously? I will run you down! Leanne! Leanne! Where have you been? Oh, you stupid bitch! What did you love for? Where's he gone? Jamie! That's your plan belly up, innit? You thought you'd be in a van with him, well, he ain't! Now we've all lost him! You better pray we haven't. You better get down on your knees! Cos if anything has happened to that boy, you three can point the finger all you like, but I'll know who's to blame! <laughs> 